Hi, it's Margaret from Days Well Spent, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to roast peppers in your oven. You're going to need the peppers that you want to roast, and I have a variety here of some poblano and some jalapenos. You're going to need a shallow baking pan to roast them on. You're going to need some tongs or something that you can use to turn the peppers over without um, getting burnt. You need either a brown paper bag or some type of container that will hold the peppers and you can put a lid on. Let's go ahead and get started. First thing we need to do to the peppers is we're going to take a knife and you either want to make a slit down one side of the pepper or, or take your knife and just pierce the pepper in a couple of places. This is just going to allow the steam to escape as it's broiling. You want to go through and do this to all of your peppers. Now what I'm going to do before I heat my oven up, I'm going to check and see where I want my rack. You want to make sure that the peppers aren't going to actually touch the heating element. And these will not. There's a couple of inches between the top of the peppers and the heating element, so that's going to be just fine. So I'm going to go ahead and set the oven for broil, let that heat up, and I'm going to give them about four to five minutes, and then I'll come back out and turn them over. Let's go ahead and set the timer. And let's go with four minutes. We can always add a little bit more time if we need to. The timer went off, and you can see that these really haven't done anything on the top, but they have underneath. We're just going to give everything a turn. You do want to make sure that you avoid that heating element. It's really hot. And now we're going to put these back in for another four to five minutes. Okay, the timer went off. I went ahead and pulled these out. Go ahead and turn my broiler off. Now what you're going to do is either put them into a brown paper bag or a container. I'm just going to go ahead and put mine in this bowl. Just want to make sure that you have a lid that'll go down on it because we want to hold in the steam from these. That's going to help loosen the skin. So I'm going to go ahead and slide my lid on it and leave them for just a couple of minutes so that the skin has a chance to soften. 